Hi friends, this is the HDMI to AV uh, uh, switcher uh, connector. You need this. This is the Xbox uh, Series S and uh, the controller for it, which we wouldn't be using because I'll only show you how to run it. I wouldn't be playing any games for today and uh, maybe in the later videos I'll play a game and I'll update that on YouTube. You need this, this cable, it is the CRT Moni TV's uh, uh, video and audio out output uh, cable. This is, the C this is the CRT TV, it's an old TV. If you have one, you can use it to play Xbox or, uh, or any other PlayStation or any other games for that matter. And you can keep it in your bedroom. Otherwise, you, if you are not use, if you have a better TV, you can watch it from your uh, hall itself, in the living room. Well, that's up to you, not for me to make any decisions on that. Okay, first you'll have to connect these cables to the sockets. The yellow wire goes into the yellow socket, and and the red one goes into the red socket, and the white one goes into the white socket. Okay, friends. Now this is this is the HDMI cable that I've connected to the Xbox, and the other end of the cable is this, which will go into the HDMI to AV uh, co uh, converter. So I've converted co connected it successfully. So here you have something called the NTSC and PAL, right? NTSC and PAL, you can switch between them, but it's, it doesn't affect the video quality of the Xbox games. That's because this is an old TV, it's a CRT TV, and uh, not the power, not not even this power out output uh, in input will be working for the for the Xbox because uh, it's uh, it's it uses the it doesn't use this power, so it's connected now. And this the other end of this cable, these three uh, audio and video output cables must be connected to the TV's back. Let me show you where it is. So it's here guy friends so now the same here also yellow goes into the yellow socket the white into the white and the red into the red socket so it's connected successfully now this is the extension box uh, that I'm using uh, to connect to use it to play the game uh, from my bedroom if you don't have a close by uh, switch out so now let's connect this TV to the extension wire and the game Xbox games uh, power cable uh, power plug to the Xbox uh, to the extension wire and let's turn it on now the TV is turned on now we have to it doesn't work on the regular channels you'll have to switch into the av so i've switched into the av you can see that and uh, and you have to turn on the xbox the key switch is somewhere here i just clicked on that and it's turned on so to turn on the joystick you'll have to click on this and uh, now you can see the Xbox has started uh, running on this TV and it is smooth. Let's uh, scroll between the games and applications. So now let's uh, get into this Need for Speed game. We'll see how smooth it runs. And by the way friends, this supports only 480p video and uh, it does not support uh, 1080 or uh, higher because this is a CRT TV however this 480p video runs very smooth on this TV and it's very clear and vi vibrant and real 
See, it's, the, it's very smooth. Now let, let me show you. Let the game load. I'll put the games in another video. So I just want you to show uh, that this video is, I mean the game runs smooth on the on this CRT TV. So that's it for now guys. So this is the HDMI you want to buy. It costs, it costs around 400 and it's available in any electric, electric stores. The joystick gets turned on and the TV. That's it for now guys. The HDMI cable comes with the Xbox Series S. And uh, this, is a, this is the front side of the Xbox Series S. Where I've connected the controller with the USB-C type cable. And the Xbox switch power, power switch. Okay, thank you for looking at my video guys. Uh, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. I'll upload many more videos. Okay, thank you. And sorry for stammering in one of my shots. That's because I wasn't prepared for it. But however, I wanted to complete it. And which is why I just uh, got into it. And uh, shot the video. But uh, hereafter, I'll be careful. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.